So today I had a request from Scatpack to edit a video and share it. So this is how I am editing a video. This is going to be for Brainstorm Sessions 3. This is the newest video that's coming out in the series. I will drop that video and then I will drop this following that one. So stay tuned to check that out, the final product of us editing. Now I'm using Movavi Video Editing Plus. Uh, I will leave a link down below where you can go get this program if you are looking to uh, find a new program or if you uh, don't have one to begin with. It's a very easy to use program. Let's get into it. So I start out by adding files. So I'm gonna find the video file that I created. So I'm gonna go over to my brainstorm sessions here. Uh, I believe this is the one, let me add that. So this is going to be my main video. I'm gonna drop it on here. So if you look on the side here, you'll see a little, looks like the old film. That's where you add your video. This is the video timeline. You can add text up at the top. You can add music down here. What I'm gonna do is add a video track. You'll see why later. But if you need to add another track of audio or anything, you can click this button and add that really, really simply. So I'm gonna go ahead and import some more stuff because I need an intro, an outro. I would like a subscribe overlay. Uh, there's a lot of different things I wanna add here. So let me go find it. Let me click in here. I try to keep my files in a uh, certain order so I can find them very easily. Here's brainstorm sessions. That's gonna be the outro. Uh, here is my intro. Let me grab that. Put that in there. And then I need a subscribe button. You're always going to want some sort of call to action, asking someone to like and subscribe, which I do at the end of the video, but I also have a YouTube subscribe button that is actually in a um, MOV file or movie file format. So I'm gonna put that in here as well. Let me go ahead and drag this to the beginning. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. So this down here, this little slider makes it where you can zoom in or out on your video. A little bit. So now you can see that I have my intro in the beginning and then it goes into the video. So I'm gonna slide over to the end now. It's a 30 minute video, so it's pretty long. Let me grab my outro right here. And if you don't remember what file you have, you can just click on it in Movavi. So if I just click on this, it'll actually play. So it played the video. So if you have 50 files in here, you don't have to sit there and try and remember which one's which. You can click on it and it'll play in this little screen before you drag and drop it on your timeline. So I'm going to find a good spot, usually towards uh, the beginning for my first sub call to action or subscribe. So right in here, we're doing a little bit of our intro. So I'm gonna drop it right about here. We'll watch that back in a little bit. Uh, if I wanna watch it ahead of time, right now I'm right before that's popping up. I can hit play over here. See the little subscribe pops up, tells people to click it. Okay, and I just said the word subscriber, so that is perfect. Uh, randomly set that in there, just got lucky but I wanna add a little bit more here. I know I wanna add something for Mr. Narks and for Brian from Black Seed. So I have some things queued up from our last session. I believe it was in my downloads, which yes, shame on me for not pulling it over. Oh, uh, we'll let's go with, there's Instagram, this one. I'll just grab a couple of these cause I'm not sure which one is which. I'll pull them in. All right, so here's the one I want for Brian from Black Seed, and I look, it looks like he's gonna start talking about here. Let me wait till his video clears up a little bit. He had a internet connection issue for a second. Actually, I'll, I'll do it in the beginning because I want people to know right away. Drop that animation there. And if you look, I have choices up here. I can put it uh, on the side, on the top, on the bottom. This is where you could click to change the location of where that comes in. Right now it's in the bottom third. So it's gonna come over here over the Black Seed original sign. I know I'm kind of going pretty quick. As you have questions, please drop them down in the comments and I will respond to you and help you out however you can, however I can. Um, 
I haven't been using this too long, but there's a whole lot of stuff this, this thing can do. Um, all right, so I wanna find where Narcs comes in. Let me go here. All right, so there is where Narcs comes in. Let me go back to my media bin. I'm gonna grab this one because it's not so intrusive and drop it there. So let me see how this looks. There we go. That'll send him over to his Instagram. Let's go back and check how Brian's looks. Make sure it's not too intrusive. There we go. Black Seed Originals, that pops up. Fades out, okay, good. So I like how that's looking. So we have our call to action. Uh, we have some things calling out who they are. Uh, um, I think I'm gonna stay simple with this video and I think that's going to be what I do. So let me turn back my scaling a little bit here so I can see more of the timeline. Now there is a button right here. This is, if you hover over it, it'll pop up. It says transition wizard. Here's how easy it is to add transitions to a video. Click, hit okay. Now it will transition all the way through the video whenever there's two clips that meet. Uh, here's an idea of it. Now you will wanna make sure if you cut out a section of your video, when you hit transition wizard, go and take the transition out or in the middle of your video, it'll, trans, it'll be a transition, you don't want that. So let me go ahead and play this through for you real quick. See, okay, so it kind of pixels in. Now I don't really like that transition, so I'm gonna click on this little box, which is the transition right here. Hit delete. I'm gonna go to transition. I like a more of a smooth transition, so I'm gonna pick one here that says it's smooth. Drag it down, drop it where those two clips meet, and we have our new transition. So let me go ahead and watch that back. It's nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm going to scoot this slider ahead to our next transition, which should be to our outro right here. Let me see what transition that has, because sometimes I don't like the ones that explode and make stuff look better or crazy. Well, that's nice, little twist. And then at the end, there should be one that transitions out. And this is where you would have go to my next video. But you're not going to do that until you use it on YouTube. Okay, that was perfect. I like that slide down. It looked like we're closing uh, the ending of a movie. So, okay, I have the video done. I like how it looks. I am going to do a quick check here. Let me turn up the audio on this a little bit. The other thing I wanna do, and I want everybody to do as a practice, when, you're, when you've edited a video, go back through, let me turn this up a little. Listen to your volume levels. You wanna make sure your volume levels are consistent and make sure in the beginning, because I think I look away from the camera first. Everyone. Hear that dead spot? I'm gonna get rid of that. So if I look down here, See the audio? I can tell where that dead spot is. So I'm just gonna drag, if I click on this, it highlights it. Grab the corner, drag it up to where that audio starts. Let go. That automatically clips the video. So here we go. See how the transition is. Perfect. So I like that. Everything's looking good. I like the transitions. The let me hear the volume one more time. Let me turn this up a little more. Everyone, welcome to brainstorm sessions. Okay, so I'm gonna enhance the audio just a little bit on this. Hopefully this doesn't get too loud. So if you have this whole thing clicked, what you're gonna wanna do to change the audio settings is click down on just the audio portion where you see the wave file. Right click, go up to tools, general. Once you click that, it pulls up here. What this is will let me select volume, the speed. I can speed up our voices or I can slow them down. You can add a fade in, which would you know slowly ramp up the volume or a fade out that slowly ramps the volume out. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up 
to about 115, which just adds a little more kick to our, our volume. So let me see the transition in volume now. Perfect. I like that. So I am good with this. I like it. I am going to go to file at the top here. Save movie as media file. Now this is where it lets you select what type of file you save it as. I always use MP4. It seems like it's the best format for loading to YouTube that I've used. If you have other suggestions, please let me know. Uh, since this is a, well, how long did we end up? It's over 30 minutes. I know that. Uh, 34 minutes and 15 seconds, which you can see down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as good quality because it's going to be somewhere between 930 meg to 3.4 gig. So unless I want to have to you know, sit here for two hours with this uploading, I don't want to crank up the resolution because if I went to highest, it's, it's a gig to start. High in the middle is a gig as well. So if I go to good, the quality will still be good. You'll be able to see the results of this once we're done. All I'm going to do is hit browse. I want to save it in brainstorm sessions. So here is the folder I want it to drop in. Then I'm gonna change the title here to Brainstorm 3. And no one sees the title when you upload it. Um, so don't worry about what you call it. You could call it turd, it doesn't matter. No one's gonna see that. It's not gonna say turd when you upload it to, to YouTube. So just as, as an idea. So I'm gonna hit start. And it's gonna sit here and process this video for me and then pop it in the folder. Once that's done, then I can take and upload that to YouTube. And then I will go over eventually here and make another video on once I upload it to YouTube, what do I do to get the video ready to um, publish? So stay tuned for that one. Thanks again for watching. I hope this helped you out. And uh, I'm gonna keep trying doing some of these uh, helpful tips as, as many as I can. So thanks for watching. Leave me a comment, hit that like, subscribe button you know, hit the bell, all that stuff. So you guys get the new stuff when, as it comes out. I'm going to try and be more active. I was busy last week, so I'm going to kick it up this week. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.